What does your TV time look like and what are you watching that could be bad for your mind? Nowadays, cartoons can be riddled with dark humor and concerning messages. The things that you watch subconsciously influence your thoughts. When these things are inconsistent with God and his sovereign will for your life, they can be damaging. Shows that you label as entertainment can be creating self-destructive and even sinister thoughts like idolism, sexism, and racism. This does not mean all things on television are bad, but this does mean we must manage what we watch and how much we watch. Our passage today reminds us that Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and other people. Christians are called to follow and emulate Jesus. If we spend the majority of our free time watching TV when we are not out socializing, how do we grow in wisdom? Will God look at the history of your binge watching and be pleased? Reimagine how you can use TV time to grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and other people. Perhaps consciously considering what the shows intend to portray and the feelings that are invoked could help identify what is helpful or harmful to your spirit. Aside from the question of what we watch, there's the question of how much we watch. Instead of flicking through the channels of endless exploration of TV, steward your time better. Invite God in to help you manage your free time in a way that is beneficial. Instead of exposing yourself to the different variety of shows, try eliminating cable altogether by using Netflix or Hulu. This way, you can stay relevant and manage what you watch. You can also take the time in prayer to ask God to direct you and help you filter out what is not beneficial. It's time to reimagine your TV time as a time that you can also follow the leading of Christ.